Hey guys, it's Brandon again. So, a week ago I did a, you know, that question blog thingy on Instagram. Um, and, the, you know, those little thing on the story. There we go, on the story. And basically I asked, is there anything you would like me to discuss on my YouTube channel? Now, I got, people are crazy. I got comments raging from, what's your bra size? How big is it? Um, can you help me with my marriage? Which is something I have no clue how to do. But, um, yeah, I got some very, <laughs> I keep thinking about those comments, but I got some very interesting ones. And, you know, I was like, you know what? Every week or so when I have the time, I can pull from those and do a Q&A. Now, not a Q&A, uh, make a video responding to that comment. Now, um, this person doesn't want to be tagged. <laughs> he's a little shy, but he's a longtime friend. I've known this guy for years and we both watch each other become successful. Like I remember when he had absolutely nothing. He remember when I had nothing, but we're very different people. He likes the finer things in life. He likes the very nice things and nothing is wrong with that. He earned it, but he asked me, he said, and we talked about this, but he's always pushing me like, Brandon, you got to spend some money. You got to enjoy life. But he was basically saying, Brandon, you did all this. You helped me become successful. You're successful. Why are you not enjoying the fruits of your labor? Why are you so cheap? And honestly, there's a good reason for that. So, oh, before I get into this, please like, share, subscribe. Yeah, all that stuff. Now, before I get into this, right? Um. Many of us, well, I don't have a lot of viewers, but, you know, people have been there with me since I started. People, some people, many people watch my videos. We're from a certain place. We didn't have the best of the best growing up. We didn't come from the best environment. And most of our friends who made it out of our environment, they became athletes. You know, a couple of our friends played in the NBA. Some played in the NFL. Um... And I've, I've seen this so many times. Or, you know, very few of us went to college, got, got degrees. Some of my friends got six-figure jobs. And the first thing they did was blow that money. They took everything and blew it. Because it's a psychological thing that was ingrained in us. When you have it, you show it. And... When you're young, when you're relative, when you get, when you achieve success relatively young in your early twenties to your mid thirties, you're trying to play catch up. You're trying to enjoy life because when you were a kid, you didn't have it, and now that you have it, you're trying to have the experiences that your parents couldn't give, give you, that you couldn't give yourself when you were younger. So you're trying to catch up because you feel like you're running out of time, and it's all a psychological play. And because they did that. They did not take the time to address the student loans, you know. The woman, some of my friends, they date these exotic women that always oh, taking money from them. They bought the big house, which is twice the amount of money they're making. They buy the, the nice car, but they, you know, they can't keep paying for it. Or they can't keep paying for it, but it's it's money that is, is being used that, they, that is not cash flow. It, it is their earned income, not passive income that are paying for these stuff. So as a result, they literally get into debt and they keep working even harder to pay for these things and then they have nothing to show for it at the end of the day. And I saw that. And I decided that, you know what, I will never ever be one of those people. Now, is it... Anything wrong with having nice things? Absolutely not. Many of you have read my story. I lived in a one bedroom apartment for eight and a half years, you know, working all these odd jobs, playing pro ball, being a banker at the same time, doing this, doing that to stack money so I could have started my companies. So, you know, the whole point of being successful is so you can have a certain comfort in life. And anyone that wants to make you feel guilty for that, they, they have psychological problems. But the whole reason why I'm like this is because of foundation. 
Many people never built a foundation to stand on. Because of my mindset, because of how I am internally, it is impossible for me to go broke. Pardon. Now, the reason why it's impossible is because Brandon Mills realizes that, yeah, I have a few million, but it's nothing, it, it is not true wealth. To me, true wealth is I can stop working and my money will take care of 10 generations down the line. I don't have that yet. Is it going to happen? Absolutely, freaking lutely it will. But I don't have that yet. Some people who have what I have, they believe that they have made it. They believe that that's that and they're at the pinnacle of it all and they're good. That's not my vision. My vision is to become so financially set that I don't ever have to worry about money ever again. I don't have to worry about inflation. I don't have to worry about what the stock market is doing, what the real estate market is doing, that anything I can ride out the wave and be okay. I also want to help people in this world. Where I come from, a lot of people are suffering. A lot of people are starving. There are kids that don't, that don't even eat on a daily basis. Those are things I want to contribute greatly to. What I have now, you know, I, I do help, but it's not, it cannot change a country, you know? So I'm not looking at the Brandon, the, 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 the 31 year old Brandon. I'm looking at the 40 year old Brandon, just like how when I was living in that tiny apartment and saving every dime. And when I finally had a hundred grand and I showed some of my friends, they're like, yo, let's go buy this car. Yo, let's go party. Let's do this. Let's do that. Spend a little bit. Enjoy life a little. I wasn't looking at the hundred grand net worth Brandon. I was looking at the million dollar net worth Brandon. Then the, you know, it's levels to it. And the more you understand about money, the more you're going to realize that a million, two million, three million, even five million, how insignificant that amount of money is. It's not about greed. It's not about necessarily being cheap. It's about having a long-term plan. There are two kinds of people in life. Some people look at life as being too short and some people look at life as being too long. Yes, I don't know when I'm gonna die. I've had close friend the other day that passed un unexpectedly, right? We don't know when is our time. And yes, we should take time to smell the roses. I'm a big believer in that. But at the end of the day, you can also live very long and then you have nothing to show for it. Before I started my businesses and I was working all these little odd jobs, one of the jobs I worked at was um, uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a nursing home. And I used to see old people, how they are treated in this country because they did not have they're in these um retirement homes these veteran homes and they do not get the best treatment you know they're grouped with a whole bunch of people and those people have all kind of diseases all kind of ailments and it is causing them to be even in a worse mental state i've seen a lot of old people die such miserable and lonely deaths because they didn't have the amount of money to you know, help sustain them within their old age. So I think about things like that. And because I think about things like that, I rather right now, while I have all the energy in the world, while I'm strong, while I'm, I'm you know, fertile, <laughs> I wanna do all the sacrifices right now. Because when I was sacrifices in my, making the sacrifices in my 20s, I had friends who laughed. I had friends who were like, yo, and not, you know, not laughing about, well, some of them laughed in a bad way, but look at them now and look at me. But, you know, I had friends who were like, yo, I'm concerned. You got to do this. You got to do that. But what they now make in a year, I make in a month. So... As I said, I'm looking at the long-term horizon. My vision is different from my friends. The vision God gave me is different from everybody else. 
Some people's vision is to reach a certain point in life, start living. That is not my, my vision. That's not what the universe put inside of me. Mine is to build even greater than what I've accomplished now. So, you know, for a long-winded video, that's the reason why I'm so cheap. So again, um, like, share, subscribe, and also, oh, one more thing. Also, it's a way, and I realize it, it's fun. People come to my, my, I have clients come to my apartment and I have my TV plugged out, my microwave plugged out, um, I collect bottles. You know, it's, it, it's fun <laughs> I'm pushing the limits of how much I can save, how much I can invest, how much I can create, how much I can give. It's, it's fun, you know? Some people collect uh, baseball cards and it's fun. I save money and it's fun. So yeah, that's another reason. It's freaking fun. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, and yeah, I'll do another one of these soon. Take care. Bye-bye.